In today's episode of our continuing series of reports on green buildings in the United Kingdom, we go to the British Research Establishment's Innovation Park, which is a small housing estate in Watford, about 30 kilometres outside London. The design of the homes in the park is on the cutting edge of sustainable technology. We went to take a closer look at what they're made of. This is Innovation Park in Watford, northwest of London. This particular home may not look very innovative, but on closer inspection you'll see the outer wall is not made of brick, but the plant, hemp. Traditionally, houses in England are made from bricks. Uh, so you dig clay out of the ground, you put it into an oven and you bake it, and that makes a brick. It, there's a lot of energy used. The hemp plant is grown, and it's grown, the, the, uh, the fibres from it are used to make rope, and to make clothing and to make insulation. This is from the middle of the plant, from the centre of the stems, and it's a waste material. So normally it should be thrown away, but now we can use it to build a house like this. In the UK, hemp is a very common plant. Its fibres fill the walls with pockets of air, making it a natural insulator. After drying, the hemp is mixed with water and limestone, just like adding cement, before it's poured into a mould. After one day, this is dry and you take away the shuttering. You move it upstairs and you do the next floor up. So the walls are very quick to make. And this, all of that is the thickness of the wall and all of that is insulation. In the cold British climate, central heating is the biggest consumer of energy. To keep out the winter weather and conserve power at the same time, buildings must first keep their warmth inside. This is a piece through the wall. We, we've drilled a hole, a quarter sample out of the wall. So the wall is 300 um, millimetres thick. You need a certain amount to give it some strength, but also because all of that is providing insulation. So it's keeping the heat inside the house. But the window is this thick. Okay, with a sheet of glass, with a glass on the outside, glass in the middle, glass on the front. So three sheets of glass. By using non-edible plants to build this home, construction costs are two-thirds of traditional British buildings. The excellent insulation also cuts the heating bill in half. In another corner of Innovation Park, there is a luxury 100% carbon neutral home. It's an interesting house. If you look, it has a very large curved roof. And that's there for two reasons. Firstly, it's providing a perfect angle to the sun for the solar heating and for photovoltaics to make the electricity. The 40 degree sloping roof exactly matches the angle of the sun, so incoming light is perpendicular to the roof, maximising its use. The sloping roof also captures rainfall. Normally, the water which we use to flush the toilet is straight from the drinking water tap. It's very high quality water. Here, what we do instead is we collect in this tank here, we collect the waste water from the dishwashing machine and from the clothes washing machine. It runs through a filter and into this tank and they can, it can then be used to flush the toilet. Do you want this flush? But that water is wastewater. It's not water good enough to drink, but it's water we'd normally just be throwing away. So before we throw it away, we can use it again to flush the toilet. Starting in 2016, by law, all new homes in the UK must be carbon neutral. Perhaps the homes in Innovation Park give us a glimpse into the future of sustainable buildings and green living.